Hey guys, how's it going today? So today I want to show you how to download books from uh, Kobo.com um, and convert it into a format where you can put it on your Kindle or PDF or whatever you want. So on Kobo.com, they have a lot of um, they have a lot of options for eBooks that you can download and you can convert into a format compatible with Kindle. So I'm going to show you how I've been doing that today, and you're going to need a few download a few bits of software. But basically, the instructions are taken from these two articles by Kobo themselves. So what I'll do is I've just basically followed these instructions, and I'll put a link to both of these articles in the description box below. This is showing how to download the eBooks, and this is showing how to use a second program called Adobe Digital Edition to convert the downloaded file into an EPUB. And then when it's in an EPUB file, you can use an external software like Calibre to convert it to Kindle format. The first thing you want to do is when you're on your account and you actually purchase the books here, this is the one that I'm going to be um, converting today. And basically you have to click on my book collection here and it takes you to this page. Then when you're here, you really easy, you click on the three dots here at the bottom of the book and click download. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna download a URL link, which you can see I've already downloaded here in the bottom. And then once that's downloaded, you basically go on and open Adobe Digital Editions here and you go and add a new book. And then you just add the link here, click open. And then here you can see that it's downloaded, here's the book, and you can read it on this if you want to. But I'm going to be showing you how to um, convert it to a PDF, which is what Adobe Digital is for. So you basically just click on the export button, and you should be able to find um, under here an EPUB folder, which then I'm just going to copy into um, and file it myself into a different folder. So I've copied the EPUB to here, but now because we've downloaded this, because we've downloaded this from Cobra.com, this actually is DRM protected. So, so in order to set up Calibre for removing DRM protection, first you want to go into preferences and you want to make sure you add a plugin which you can um, which you can do to remove DRM protection from books. I've already done a video on this in the past, so what I'll do, I'll link that in the description box below. Um, and if anything's out of date, you can just find loads of videos on YouTube tutorials of how to set up Calibre to remove DRM protection, so I won't be including that in today's video. So then it's really simple, you just, now you have the EPUB file, you just add the book. And here you can see in the corner here, this is the book cover and it's in EPUB format. So if you want to convert book, you want to click on convert books, and you can convert it to um, PDF here, click OK. And also if you want to convert it to Kindle format, you have to go down here and you have to select the MOBI file, which is here. And then you have to go onto page setup and make sure it's set up to match your device. So I'm scrolling down, mine's a Kindle paper, you have to make sure you select that and then click OK. And clicking the jobs in the bottom right here, you can see the progress of it converting here. And here you can see it's already converted the PDF and it's now converting the um, EPUB to a Mobi file so I can use it on Kindle. So once that's done, you right click on the Mobi file, click save format to disk. And then when you've found the folder, you wanna select it and you just cl simply click save. And here it is, here's the book in mobile, mobile format. Um, because I don't like the title and pinion, what I normally do is just copy the name across to make sure it's got the name in characters. And here, then what you want to do, you want to plug your Kindle into your device, into your computer, and it's really simple. You just want to go on to documents. And here you've got all the books from before, and you simply copy and paste the mobile file across to Kindle like this. And there you go, it's on the Kindle. And as you can see, the book is now on my Kindle. And here is the text. And you can feel free to highlight 
sentences. You can look up words and do all the other stuff on Kindle to make it easier. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.